two of my bikini prep vlog series. Today is Friday, March 18th. I checked in with my coach this morning. I lost one pound this week and I'm feeling really good. I can see my abs this morning, so that's exciting. Um, I'll put my pictures in here so you can see my progress pictures for my first week of prep. So today's a high carb day and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fit a treat meal into your macros. So the first thing that you have to do when you're gonna fit a treat meal into your macros is obviously decide what you're gonna get or make and then plug it into my fitness file before anything else. So last night I put in what I'm gonna have tonight and then worked the rest of my day around it so I knew I wouldn't end up being too short of macros to have the treat meal that I wanted or have as much of it and so on. So what I'm gonna be having tonight is, let me show you. We have 93% seven fat ground beef. We're gonna be making burgers and then to make these macro friendly, I have these burger buns from Trader Joe's. The macros on these are really good. There's five grams of protein, 18 carb and two fat, 110 calories. And then just the little low calorie slices of cheese. They're 40 calories each and they taste really good to me. And then the best part is these are Trader Joe's handsome cut potato fries. They're really good. And last weekend we had these and I had two servings and that was like an entire plate full and that was only six ounces. So it's 140 calories, five fat, 22 carbs, and three protein. So yeah, I'm so excited. And um, so yeah, like I was saying, definitely just log it all beforehand so that you don't end up like wanting a burger but only being able to fit like two ounces of meat in because then it's not really a treat meal and it won't fill you up. So even if the rest of the day you're having lower calorie meals, if you wanna have a treat meal and make it fit your macros, then that's what you gotta do. So for dessert, I'm having an entire pint of Arctic Zero Cool Mint Chip, which is so good. Their new chunky flavors are like the bomb. So I'm really excited for that. And it's all gonna stay within my macro range, not gonna feel guilty or bloated tomorrow, which is really cool. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with cheat meals. People who know me know that I love my cheat meals and that I've been having cheat meals every single week since I started prep two years ago. It just kind of became a habit. Every Friday we would go and get a cheat meal, but um, I think this will be good for me because when you do have a cheat meal, especially me, I retain water for like pretty much like the next four days. So it kind of delays your progress, especially you being able to see your progress, especially if you're someone like me who holds onto water like a ton. Like I kid you not, my weight will be up like three or four pounds like days after my cheat meal. And I know that it's from the cheat meal because my body's just retaining so much water from all the sodium that I consume. And give it a try to not actually go out to have a full on cheat meal and see if you can fit it into your diet and see how you feel. Cause I did this two weeks ago and it felt really good to not like wake up the next morning feeling like, ugh, cause you know, you get a food hangover if you go out and eat all night. So on the side I'm just making a salad, regular lettuce, tomato, just a high volume salad to keep my mouth busy instead of eating or being tempted to eat more fries. I just have something to fill me up extra, putting white cheddar seasoning on it. So this is four ounces of beef, one piece of cheese, a little bit of ketchup, five ounces of french fries, and it was so good. Having my Arctic Zero Cool Mint Chip for dessert, while Juan eats probably half of this container of cookies and cream. <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about one comment that someone left, it, left on my last video in saying that they were following an IFYM plan and they still experienced a lot of binge eating. Um, I think binge eating comes from being in a caloric deficit. So if you're like restricting your calories, even if it's not restricting the foods that you wanna eat, you still might experience binge eating. I just think that flexible dieting kind of teaches you to eat things in moderation and teaches you to have like a bowl, a small bowl of ice cream rather than the whole thing. And it's definitely a long progress. So if you watched my last video and thought that, you know, you might be doing IFYM and you're still struggling with binge eating, it's not like an overnight thing. You're not going to do, if it fits your macros for like a month and all of a sudden not have binge eating. It takes some time and it takes practice and it takes getting used to and it takes just being comfortable with only having a small amount of something and not, and refraining from having the urge to go on and have a binge. So I hope that helps anyone who is confused or if you feel 
bad that you've been binge eating and you're doing IFYM and you think that everyone else does, if it's your macros and doesn't binge, that's not true. It's just being in a cal caloric deficit results in binge eating whatever way you're going about it. And it just takes time and practice to get used to it and to be able to not have the urges to go into a binge eat. All right, guys, so that concludes my video on how to fit a treat meal into your macros. I hope it gave you some ideas and made you realize that you can still fit good treat meals into your macros while you are doing macro counting and not having cheat meals during your prep. So if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again so much for watching.